Hello, good morning. This is Rose Domingo and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today, I would like to share about the top 13 lean protein foods. Protein is an essential part of a balanced diet, but sometimes it's accompanied by more fat and calories than you want. To be Here are the 13 protein foods to consider. Number one is white fleshed fish. Most white fleshed fish are quite lean and excellent protein sources, providing less than 3 grams of fat, 20 to 25 grams of protein, and 85 to 130 calories per 3.5 ounce or open close parenthesis 100 gram plain cooked serving examples of very lean white fish include cod haddock grouper halibut tilapia in the philippines and bus these white fish generally have only 10 to 25 present as many omega-3 fatty acids as higher fat, higher calorie, dark fleshed fish such as coho and sake salmon. Therefore, it's a good idea to eat both types of fish. A convenient way to buy plain fish fillet is in the frozen food section of your supermarket if you move the fillet from your freezer to the refrigerator first thing in the morning they'll be thawed and ready to cook for your evening meal so that white fleshed fish such as cod and halibut are excellent sources of hunger satisfying protein with little fat and relatively few calories but other types of fish such as salmon have higher amounts of healthy omega-3 fats in the philippines tilapia is good number two plain greek yogurt a six ounce or 170 gram serving of greek yogurt packs 15 to 20 grams of protein compared with only 9 grams in a serving of regular yogurt. This is because of how Greek yogurt is made. It's trained to remove the liquid whey, leaving a more concentrated product that has more protein and it's thicker and creamer. If you're looking for the least calories and fat, up for plain non-fat Greek yogurt, which has less than 2 grams of fat per 156 gram serving. Low fat plain Greek yogurt, which is about 3 grams of fat and 125 calories per 6 ounce serving, is also a good choice. By opting for plain, you skip the unnecessary sweeteners and can add to your own fruit. So that Plain non-fat or low-fat Greek yogurt contains about twice as much protein per serving as regular yogurt. It also contains much less sugar. Number three, beans, peas, and lentils. Dry beans, peas, and lentils, also called pulses, are a subgroup of legumes. They average 8 grams of protein per one half cup or 100 gram cooked serving and are low in fat and high in fiber. The high fiber and protein content in pulses helps make them more filling. What's more, the fiber may help lower your blood cholesterol 
if you eat pulses regularly. In a review of 26 studies in 1,037 people, eating an average of 2 3rd cup of 130 grams of cooked pulses daily for at least 3 weeks resulted in about a 7 mg in LDL bad cholesterol compared with control diets. They equaled on almost 5% reduction in LDL over time. So that Beans, peas, and lentils are good sources of lean protein. They're also high in fiber and may help lower your cholesterol if you eat them regularly. Number four, skinless white meat poultry. A 3.5 ounce or 100 gram serving of cooked chicken or turkey breast has around 30 grams of protein. Skip dark meat cuts such as drumsticks and thighs to get the leanest meat, while meat includes the breast, breast tenderloins, tenders, and wings. If you're looking to limit calories and fat, try to avoid the skin. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams of roasted chicken breast with skin has 200 calories and 8 grams of fat. While the same amount of skinless uh, roasted chicken breast has around 161 calories and 3.5 grams of fat. You can remove the skin either before or after cooking. The fat savings are virtually and same either way. Typically, poultry cooked with the skin intact is moister. So that while meat, chicken, and turkey particularly the breasts are rich in protein and low in fat if you remove the skin either before or after cooking. Number five, low fat cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is a high protein, low fast food. A one cup to 26 gram serving of low fat, 2% milk fat cottage cheese has 163 calories. 2.5 grams of fat and 28 grams of protein. The newest trends in cottage cheese include single serve containers, flavored options, and the addition of live and active probiotic cultures. So, that low fat cottage cheese is an excellent source of protein and is becoming even more convenient with the increased availability of single serving containers is also a good source of calcium. Number six, tofu. Tofu is an especially viable protein option if you are trying to avoid animal foods. A three ounce or 85 gram serving of tofu has 71 calories, 3.5 grams of fat and 9 grams of protein including sufficient amounts of all the essential amino acids. Tofu comes in different textures which you can choose from based on how you plan to use it. For example, use firm or extra firm tofu in place of meat that you bake, grill or saute and soft or silken tofu is in creamy soups or desserts. If you are not 100% sold in tofu, edamame and pepe are two other food sources of soy that are highly protein and relatively low in calories and fat. Note that about 95% of soybeans produced in the United States are genetically modified or GM. If you prefer to offer GM foods, you can buy organic tofu. Organic foods cannot be genetically modified. So that tofu is a good source of plant protein that provides adequate amounts of all the essential amino acids and is very versatile in recipes. Number seven is lean beef. Lean cuts of beef are those with less than 0 grams of total fat 
and no more than 4.5 grams of saturated fat per 3.5 ounce or 100 gram cooked serving. If you are buying fresh beef that doesn't have a nutrition label, certain words such as loin and round tell you the meat is lean. For example, sirloin and tenderloin steaks, eye of round roast and round steak are all lean. When it comes to ground beef, opt for something that's at least 90% lean. A 4 ounce or 113 gram cooked hamburger patty made with 95% round beef has 155 calories and 5.6 grams of total for including 2.4 grams of saturated fat and 24 grams of protein. What's more, a serving of lean beef is an excellent source of several B vitamins, zinc, and selenium. So that lean beef is generally signaled by the word loin or round. If buying ground beef, try to find something that's at least 90% lean. Lean beef is an excellent source of protein, also packs B vitamins, zinc, and selenium. Number eight, powdered peanut butter. Oh, there's such thing as powdered peanut butter. The natural oil in peanut butter is heart healthy, but can pack a lot of calories. Just two tablespoons or 32 grams of regular peanut butter have about 200 calories and 16 grams of fat along with seven grams of protein. A low calorie option is unsweetened powdered peanut butter. Most of its fat is pressed out during processing. A 2 tablespoon serving has just 45 calories and 1 gram of fat but 4 grams of protein. To use a powder like peanut butter, mix it with a little water at a time until it reaches a similar consistency to regular peanut butter. Keep in mind that it won't be quite as creamy. Reconstituted powdered peanut butter works especially well for dipping apples, bananas, and even dark chocolate. Alternatively, you can mix the dry powder into smoothies, shakes, oatmeal, or pancake or muffin batter to add a pound of flavor and protein. So that Powdered peanut butter is a convenient protein source that has just a fraction of the calories and fat of regular peanut butter. Number 9. Low-fat milk. Whether you drink it, cook it, or add it to cereal, low-fat milk is an easy way to get protein. A 1 cup serving of low-fat milk with 1% milk fat has 8 grams of protein. 2 grams of fat and 105 calories in comparison a serving of whole milk with 3.25 milk fat has the same amount of protein but 146 calories and about 8 grams of fat clearly opting for low fat milk save you calories and fat however some recent studies suggest that drinking whole milk may not increase heart disease risk as was once thought and may even help your weight management. However, more studies need to be done in both areas before any conclusions can be made. If you aren't sure which dairy milk option is best for you, especially if you're already living with high cholesterol or heart disease, talk it over with a doctor or a registered dietitian. So that low fat milk is a good source of protein and save you a significant amount of fat and calories compared with whole milk especially if you consume it often. Number 10 pork loin. A handful of pork cuts meat. The US Department of Agriculture's definition of lean which means less than 10 grams of fat 
and no more than 4.5 grams of saturated fat per 3.5 ounce or 100 gram cooked serving. The keywords that indicate lean pork are loin and chop. Therefore, lean cuts include pork tenderloin, pork loin chops, and pork top loin or steer loin roasts. Pork tenderloin, the leanest cut, has 123 calories, 23 grams of protein, and about 2 grams of fat per 4 oz or 113 gram cooked serving. Before cooking pork, trim off any fat around the edges. So you can use low fat cooking methods such as grilling or broiling if you are looking to cut back on fat and calories. So that you can find lean pork by looking for the word loin or chop. Even so, be sure to cut off excess fat on the meat if you are trying to limit fat and calories. Pork is also rich in B vitamin, selenium, and zinc. Number 11, frozen shrimp. If you are looking for a lot of protein for fewer calories, frozen and breaded shrimp are a convenient option. A 3 ounce 85 gram serving has 110 calories, 22 grams of protein, and 2 grams of fat. Though the same serving also has 150 milligrams of cholesterol, scientists have found that consuming cholesterol as part of a nutritious diet generally has little impact on heart health of people who are not currently living with heart disease or high cholesterol. If salt is a concern for you, look for frozen shrimp that contain only naturally occurring sodium. So that unbreaded frozen shrimp are a convenient, low-fat, high-protein food. Read nutrition labels when shopping to avoid products with high sodium content. Number 12, egg whites. You can eat whole eggs, cholesterol and all, as part of a healthy diet. But if you're looking for something a little lighter, you can use just the whites. One egg white contains less than 0.5 gram of fat, but 3.5 grams of protein, which is about half of the protein in a whole egg. You may want to try an egg white omelet or egg white muffins made by baby's peanut or diced peppers and onions. Alternatively, you can scramble egg whites with veggies to make a fill or topping for wraps, tostadas, or toast. So that half the protein in eggs comes from the whites, but whites contain only trace amounts of fat less than a quarter of the calories of whole eggs. Number 13, bison. Whether you call it bison or buffalo, it's nutritious, lean protein source, that may have an edge over conventionally raised beef. First, bison is leaner than beef. When scientists compared sirloin steak and shark roast from grain-fed cattle, beef to bison, the beef had more than twice as much fat as the bison meat. So that bison is leaner than beef and has a healthier, less inflammatory fat profile. The bottom line, a balanced nutritious diet will always include some fats along with protein and fiber, but if you're specifically looking to limit your fat and calorie intake for dietary reasons, lean animal and fat protein sources are plentiful. White fleshed fish and skinless white meat poultry and among the leanest animal proteins. However, you can also find lean red meat by looking for the words loin and drum. Many daily products such as low-fat cottage cheese, yogurt especially, Greek yogurt and low-fat are also low in fat and are good sources of protein. 
Plant proteins such as beans, tofu, and powdered peanut butter offer ample amounts of protein as well. Because everyone's health histories and nutritional needs are different, it's important to consult a doctor or registered dietitian before making big changes to your diet. Okay, that's all for my topic today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and keep smiling. See you on my next video.